<laughs> I just inhaled spice. <laughs> Oh my god. Good morning, you guys. Uh, I felt like I had to wear this sweatshirt today that says no sleep because that's how I feel right now. Um, it was a wild night. It was a fun night. Uh, but this sweatshirt definitely represents how I feel right now. I'm meeting up with the rest of the guys now for breakfast before we go out on a day full of adventures. This is us. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> All right. Back of the bus. Okay you guys, so we have a hour ride to this temple now. I'm gonna take a quick power nap and I'll be right back. Whew! <laughs> hour later, we are at, well, the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today we are exploring a temple. It was originally built in 643, correct? Yes. All right, and this is our man yeah. tour guide here today. What was your name? Hi, my name is Shurak. Shrek. Yeah. yeah it's just, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. All right. So Shrek, uh, this is a, one of the biggest temples too, right? Yes. Right. So well, one of the biggest in Korea. So this is like not just like your singular temple. It's like a complex of temples. And uh, as you can see here, this is how cold it is. The river is frozen. And it's all snow. Looks like ice age. The Buddha. They think so. Everyone uh, inside, in your heart, in your mind, there's a Buddha there. Uh -huh. So if you do many good things in your life, and so you will uh, be a Buddha, <laughs> or so rebirth as a human, and not an insect or some animals. <laughs> so right now we are walking around this palace. It is, you know, the dead of winter, but it's still a really cool place. Look at this. You have these beautiful pine trees. These beautiful glass and wood uh, houses over here. And what looks like just the courtyard to this whole thing. So have to go up here a little more. If you see this color right here, this is a green. It's actually the Korean green. It's the I guess most famous color that the Koreans are known for. It's kind of based off of the uh, Chinese jade color. Uh, but what it is is these Korean uh, people went to China to study and they created this green from five different colors. So I guess that's kind of why a lot of their temples are green here. They all have this similar green tint to them. Because I guess it's their, their famous color. Is this like, uh, are you creating a one big video or would you? It's like a live streaming. Oh, you're live streaming? Yes. Really? Oh, that's so awesome. So our audience is looking yeah, yeah. at us yeah. now. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. That's amazing. And this is your audience from China, right? Yes. That's amazing. Hi guys, I'm from New York City. <laughs> yeah. We come from China. Yes. We are from China. That's amazing. <laughs> guys, I'm on a Chinese live stream right now. Yes, travel I Feng. .com? I like it. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. We have all cultures here in Korea. <laughs> so we're walking through this like forest path right now and the tour guide Shrek just told me this really crazy story. So supposedly in the mountains here, there's this thing called mountain ginseng. So there's ginseng, but then there's mountain ginseng, which is even rare. And it's so rare that uh, it costs a ton of money. And the uh, Koreans believe that it will uh, maybe extend your life or it has tons of health benefits. So the CEOs pretty much are the only ones who can afford it because it costs a lot of money. So he was saying the CEO of Hyundai paid a million dollars for someone to go find mountain ginseng for him and then tip to the person who found it and washed it he tipped him like thousands of thousands of dollars so there could be a market in looking for mountain ginseng it's supposedly this like long stem with some berries at the top of it so that might be my next job <laughs> ginseng explorer hunting for ginseng that's my next video Take our shoes off. Yeah. 
They love kimchi here, yeah? Yeah. It's like the home of kimchi. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That officially tape. declared. Got you on tape. Home of kimchi. <laughs> Home of kimchi, according to Chloe Nee. <laughs> <laughs> that, that name? Yeah, that thing you cut up? Called Chunbyong. 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 Maybe Chunbyong. Okay. The full name. And what is in it? Well, so something like a, a similar with dumplings inside, like a kimchi, and it looks like a glass noodles inside, many kind of vegetables, and it's quite spicy. But outside, it's very soft, yep. and make a buckwheat floor. What? Made of, made of buckwheat. Buckwheat, yeah. Floor. Buckwheat and flour, okay. Have you had this yet? Yeah, yeah I tried it. It's a bit Good. spicy. Alright, I'm terrible with spice. Maybe mix it with the pickle. The pickle will help. It's good. Prepare yourself. <laughs> I can taste the spice for sure. It's not like lasting. It's not lasting. It's good. I like it. I like it. It has a little bit of spice, but not too much. <laughs> and now we have a soup which has some beef in it. And it is known to be spicy. Again, not very good with spicy. So this is gonna be interesting. We'll see how it goes. It's really spicy. <laughs> okay. Hey, for me. Turning to Chirac now. I just inhaled spice. <laughs> How's it? See, this is what you need to stop a cold. You need some spice to clear you out. The uh, final consensus was it was pretty spicy, especially after finishing the noodles and getting down to the actual soup. That was spicy. But uh, what they do here is they have this radish, and you eat this and it kind of neutralizes it. So this is what I've been chewing. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> That's what, that's what I've been chewing on. <laughs> Meme Chun, this restaurant, Chun, Meme Chun, this restaurant's called, and it's uh, very typical in North Korea because it's buckwheat. It was good food. All right, you guys. So right now we're gonna learn how to make pour pour the perfect beer, pour the perfect Heineken, and our bartender is gonna show us. What was your name? Jens. Jens. Jens the man's gonna show us how to do it. Okay. Yeah? You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay, first, make sure to make your glass wet. Okay. So it's clean. That's it. Look at that perfect precision. They have to check. And then you have to serve with a smile. <laughs> Four out of ten. Alright. So, uh, where to begin? <laughs> first, first we get the glass, the Heineken glass. We dip it. Dip it. Is that, is that good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if I did it enough. Oh no! He's falling short! <laughs> oh god, no! Oh, <laughs> Very creepy. So what, do I, so what do I do now? Just throw it away? <laughs> oh yeah, just it. Okay. What's the score, Jens? And tell us, talk us through it. I'm gonna end up drunk before the, I get this done. I think it's yeah, a five out of ten. Okay. So what can, what can I do better? Okay. Uh, if you take the glass, yeah. take it not here because this is where people drink. Oh, so okay. take the glass always from the bottom. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Make sure your glass is clean and also cold. And the first, when you uh, take the tap, one second for the first. Uh, wow. wow, look at that. The heart of that. The heart of that. Wow. So you can see a five, and a, a five and a ten. <laughs> Step 
one, glass. Nice cold water. One second. It's not close. <laughs> I'm getting a little closer. A little closer. Uh, I will give it a, a six. Your last is close, but it's not perfect. Okay. So six out of ten is the score to beat then. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank you, but man. For the perfect Heineken, yeah, you need an eye for detail, so <laughs> you have to try harder and harder. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thank okay. you, man. Thank you. <laughs> 我觉得我觉得好像这次没有刚刚第一次。The score? Yeah. Uh, you are also really close, so <laughs> I will say uh, six, seven, maybe seven. Okay, thank seven. you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Yeah, I didn't, I didn't win this one, guys. Okay, move it away. No. Okay. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that one's actually better. Oh, oh I think we're gonna win off. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't seen that. Is it down? Yeah. I think it's the real so, touch. Yeah. Is that the winner? This is, uh, yeah, this is a winner yeah. of your award. <laughs> it's not perfect, but you are very, very, very close. So do I have a mat? Metal. <laughs> a gold, gold medal. Okay, you a gold medal. Thank medal. you. <laughs> You're okay. You're winning. Yeah. All right, you guys. I feel like I have been terrible with transitioning today. Like I just go from one place to another place to another place, but I'm like so bad at the transitions. I'm just so tired today. I got like four hours of sleep after doing a 24-hour all day yesterday. So I'm just like, I'm dying today. But I got a little bit of free time right now to go back to my room for about two, two hours uh, before we have uh, dinner tonight. So I'm gonna go back. I still gotta edit this vlog from yesterday. So I got a lot to do. Uh, I wish I could sleep, but uh, I guess I'll just sleep when I die or when I pass out on my keyboard, whichever comes first. Okay, so the video is done, it is edited, and uh, it's uploading. We have to head out now to the after party and dinner at the house. All right, you guys, so we are back at the Heineken house, and you might be able to hear it. It is freaking loud out there tonight. So one of the uh, one of the Dutch members, she won gold tonight, which was bigger than last night apparently, because the guy won silver. And today, one of this girl, one of these girls, won gold, and she wasn't expected to win gold. She was like an up and coming underdog, and she won gold. So it's freaking insane out there. We're about to go see this uh, medal ceremony. How many people here are not from the Netherlands? Wow, that's almost half of us. All right. So, uh, where are you guys from? Are you from the States? Do we, have, do we have any Canadians in the house? Really? finally back at the hotel. It is 2.26 in the morning. I am <laughs> super exhausted. That is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Dutch team, Heineken House, celebrated a gold medal. It was amazing. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing some more adventures in the morning. Then we have a hockey game later and some other cool stuff going on. But that is it for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow with another video here in South Korea.